everyone. Welcome back to True Threat Comics YouTube channel. I'm Ian Miller. Tonight we actually have a returning guest, very good friend of mine. He has a new exciting series on, on Kickstarter called Scales. He's part of, if I'm not part of, excuse me, the leader of Cyrenova Comics platform, which I'm part of. Please welcome Greg McQuinn. Hello. <laughs> Greg, it's been a minute. How are you doing? Good. You? Pretty good. Pretty good. Busy. Yeah. So, uh, scales. I'm going to uh, show everyone uh, where it's located right now. The mission on the page. But why don't you tell everyone what it's about? Uh, it's a supernatural superhero origin story. I totally didn't read that from the subtitle <laughs> on it. <okay, sorry. clears throat> um, that's the best way to uh, describe it. Um, it's more of a foundation than origin story, I guess, mm -hmm. according to someone that read it already um, and liked it. Uh, if you like Indiana Jones, The Goonies, apparently Count of Monte Cristo, you'll like this. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I when I heard that I was like, oh that's that's crazy. Like I'd never watched that or read that book. So um, like I, I I was like, what is that like about? <laughs> and then someone's like, Oh, it's like a revenge story. I was like, oh well okay. But yeah, it's a lot like that. Wow. Um uh, who who wrote this? Uh so I came up with the plot of scales. Mm -hmm. And then I gave it to uh, this guy, David Flesher. He's part mm -hmm. of, um, is it Moonfall Publishing? Uh, something like that. It's like Moonfall Publishing or I almost said Moon Knight Publishing. It's not that. <laughs> I think it's Moonfall. Uh, <clears throat> I found him in 2017. He wrote it in 2017. We created Scales couple years ago like 2019 2020 mm. uh we just never did a kickstarter until now for it because we just didn't have it in the timeline of a bunch of projects that we had going on now oh, believe me i know i know yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow this is fantastic uh who is the uh, artist uh adam fields did the pencils and then Sean Blablar did the um, inks. And then the colorist is the same for everything in February. I, I use them for like basically everything except mittens. So. Uh, that's right. The last time you came on, it was with Josh, and it was about mittens. Uh, issues oh, one too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is just stunning artwork. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, I thought that uh, I think it shows that guy. Uh, yep, yeah, it does. Um, so there's the guy covered in scales. That, wow. That's not why it's called scales, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought Adam would not want to draw that, but apparently he wants to keep drawing that guy because he thought it was really cool. So somehow I have to fit him in the stories <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, uh, it's like that with my own series there was a character that i had you know killed off at some point but then my one of my uh friends was like no keep keep her in keep her in i was like oh god now i have to try to write her back into life mm. that's, a, that's the that's the downfall of comics i guess so since the face isn't really shown uh yeah. depending on who chose the more to the story tier on the Kickstarter, I might use them as that character. So, okay. And, and unless if they watch this show or listen to it, they they won't know that <laughs> until I'm like, hey. Well, I was gonna watch it or listen to it because I'm gonna post it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even Hector wrote, wrote that about the uh, view. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, I showed it. I uh, let like three or four people uh read it um jessica's the one that said it was like about like 
it was like Indiana Jones or whatever. Mm. Eric actually only saw the script because he was going to be the artist for it originally. Oh. And then um, I found Adam. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow, that's 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 great. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the uh, rewards a bit. So you got the uh, digital tires and the physical uh, tires, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two digital. Uh, most of the time, I don't really do two different ones, but mm -hmm. um, trying different things. So if you get the $8 one, you get extra stuff that you can get. Uh, I have to make it still, but it's going to take five seconds. It's the <laughs> PDF of like the inks of uh -huh. the story and also the script. Um, which me and Dylan edited more because it wasn't fully edited when we originally printed it. And Jerome is changing some of the lettering. So this version that we're printing mm -hmm. um, is going to have a little less lettering, like a little less word balloons all over the place because yeah. I noticed, you know, from mistakes in the past, like, oh, there's too many word bubbles everywhere. So, yeah. Well, it's a common, it's a, it's a ongoing learning curve in the business. Yeah, yeah. And that was in 2020 or something like that. And I was like, we have to shorten this. So, you know. Because yeah. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's like a page of them on the beach, and it's mostly just word bubbles everywhere. And I was like, uh, that has to get like edited a bit. So, yeah. like, okay. Uh, yeah, so you got the um, the Elder Guardian uh, for $25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a trading card. Uh, the physical copy, the digital copy, and uh, sticker, the Gaia sticker. Which I don't know why I'm looking over there. Like I have it. Um, <laughs> I have a keychain um, over here, and there's only ten of those, and that's on. Is that the add-on, or is it? Uh... It's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, the chosen one. So uh, if you choose the chosen one tier, uh, you can get the keychain. That's the only way you can get the keychain. Okay. Um, I like the ID card because it was my idea. And uh, I just think it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, you, I, oh, you even got a postcard. That's nice. Yeah. Well, so it's, nice. an, art, it's an art print, but yeah. like it's going to be, you know, postcard size. Or whatever. That's right. That's again. You got the backer goals here. Yeah. We unlocked three. Of them so far, uh, we're like three backers away from unlocking Corruptor by Ed Edward Davis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, this uh, campaign's been a little slow. I don't know. Like we did Ink last year in the same month, and it seems like it's just I don't know. <laughs> well, you, you got twenty. Right. Yeah, you got twenty. I'm sorry to interrupt. You got twenty days to go. Yeah, 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 and and I get there's gonna be more people that are gonna come from you know. Uh, absolutely, know. it's just I don't know. We, I don't know. It's weird. Usually, there's more support in the front end. Uh, yeah, for us. So, I also been like really tired from work, so like I don't really promote it as much as I normally do. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, you know, uh, this is where uh, people like me can actually help you with the promotion, obviously. Um, is, let's face it, we all need help in this business, especially with promoting their uh, books. So um, ho hopefully uh, this will help you guys. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> yeah. and we're like $84 away from the first stretch goal, which is $2,500. It's digital wallpaper set. Uh, it's the one of the things is the mansion, like Drake's and Manor. Yeah. Um, and then the like golly scene, that's on like page seven or whatever. Yeah. And right then, here. um, 
like a energy orb going down from the cliff in the cave. So Josh just found like three cool pictures, like pieces of art in the comic. He's like, "We'll use these," and it's like, "Sure." <laughs> Well, it's a great idea because uh, the images alone are just spectacular, and yeah. you wouldn't want these as art prints. I would definitely w would want, you know, throwing the orb, you know, down as an art print. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, the thirty five hundred dollar tier uh, stretchable. Um, that is a glow in the dark green energy keychain. So. Uh, yeah, if we hit three thousand five hundred, um, ink two, ink one and two, uh, we made almost three thousand dollars, but I don't, we didn't hit three thousand. So I'm hoping we, you know, get close to that. Oh, <laughs> I think you, I think I think it's possible. I think it's possible you can get close to that, especially with twenty days left. Yeah, and then it shows that there's nothing for five thousand yet, but I did figure out what five thousand is. Um, I haven't announced anywhere yet, so I guess I'll do it here. Uh, it's a glow in the dark cover, like a, it's a new cover, and it's gonna be glow in the dark. Um, Adam isn't doing it, but he recommended uh, Chad. I forgot his last name, <laughs> but uh, starts with a C. But, um, no, yes, I don't know, it's Chad. <laughs> Uh, uh, I have Facebook. Let's Chad. Can't find his name right now. Oh, um, but yeah, um, he already he sketched the cover, and I just have to pay him, and then he's gonna finish it. So okay. Okay, so uh, this is what's happening right now. It's on uh, Kickstarter scales. Uh, I, will, I will send you the. I will obviously attach the link uh, to this video, you know, towards the end, so you guys can check it out. But uh, Greg, I have to, I have to say, uh, I, you came up with the story for this, but how did you arrive at this? Arrive at this? How like how the story became a thing? Yeah. Um. So I made uh, the Seer Chronicles, like the original story, it was over like twelve hundred pages or whatever, and I had to break that up into other stories. And scales is one of those stories, so yeah. Um, I had like the plot of scales. It was a little different from the original story, um, and I didn't really have that much of a backstory. Luke from our platform actually helped us with backstories. <laughs> so know. yeah, because so he he was originally gonna have a story that he was gonna make with his friend, and it was like a D and D kind of campaign, but it was gonna be a comic. That mm -hmm. didn't happen. Uh, something fell through, but I'm like, can I still use like the backstory stuff for like the whole dragon kind of stuff? Because that would work perfectly for scales. He said, "Oh yeah," so that is where we got that from. <laughs> <laughs> so the Gaia uh, thing, like the emblem, um, that's based on a dragon that's like within our universe, like many, many, many years ago. Um, it's like a track and that actually was a thing. Okay. All right. So you gave uh, the first, the, the plot elements to uh, David uh, Flesher and he just fleshed it out. No pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended, folks. Yeah. He fleshed out the story and wrote it and just, you just, you obviously went with it. Mm -hmm. And it was became very exciting. This was back in 2017. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wow, so you've been then, having it in the back burner for a while then. Yeah, I have a whole Excel sheet of projects that are planned, um, like a lot. Uh, the second one that he wrote, because he wrote three, um, mm -hmm. the second one is mostly of him just training. And uh, after we had Ed Jowett on our podcast, like for the first time, like uh, two years ago now or something. We were talking about origin stories and how people don't care that much about like origin stories in a way like batman you, you didn't know the whole parents thing in the beginning so we uh kind of took the advice in a way i'm not r right now because this is only origin story but <laughs> in issue two we fast forward we're going to fast forward 20 years 
Uh, so he's going to be 32, I think, or 33. I forgot how old he is. I think he's 12 or 13. And um, it's going to be 2024, and he's going to um, be a little bit older. And, yeah, so there's, there's action, like, right in the beginning of issue two, so I can't wait for issue two. Because uh, this one, it's mostly it's a family going on vacation and then, like, a big twist, like, at the end. That's kind of, like, what happens in this. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the thing with the most issues. They just set up, you know, what the story's going to be about. That's the whole th the first issue yeah. of the setup. Yeah. And uh, from the few people that read it, they liked it. So I guess that's good. Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> considering, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so why release, it, why release scales now as a Kickstarter? Why now? Uh, cause we, so Inc. 3 is coming out this year on Kickstarter. I'm hoping May or June, depending on like when, um, Adam is done with the art and when February is done coloring it, uh, I have to like figure out when we can do that. I'm hoping it's May or June and then, um, somehow mittens is going to come out in july still uh yeah <laughs> so i don't know how i'm going to do it but uh it's like one after the other um and then after ink since after ink three at ink three is kind of the end of ink like the series for a while wow so you're, you're not going to see ink until some other thing so then next year it's going to be scales two and then a couple other things like just trades basically i think scales two and maybe seer chronicles four i don't want to promise that hector takes a little while um but there's like two or three trades next year and scales two so yeah that's why scales is on kickstarter now okay then yeah uh <laughs> Yeah, you uh, mentioned Ink 3 and uh, Mittens uh, 3, obviously. Um, now, I know you in the past you told me those were going to be ongoing series. Yeah, uh, and you just said that skills um, after the third issue, you got to stop a bit and, until something else happens and then go back to that. Do you see skills also as an ongoing series? Yep, yeah. Uh, he's like our Iron Fist Batman daredevil character <laughs> oh so uh except if we had an actor for him he would actually care about martial arts so uh <laughs> um oh i love it i love it uh yeah so um yeah ink like you're not gonna see him until the trade next year and then um which if people are listening to this, they'll be like, why are we, why back Ink 3 if I can get the drink? Um, <laughs> because. Uh, so you won't see him for like a little while because we have to catch up on the story of scales. So there's going to be scales 2 and 3. And then you won't see that until something. And then there's uh, another character that needs their story told. And then you finally get to see them again. But, like, yeah. I'm getting the sense that this is obviously a shared universe type of deal. It is. It's just, like, yeah. Um, we have, like, a Defenders type thing uh, going on. Yeah, uh, so a crossover wouldn't necessarily be out of the question at some point. Yeah, no. Uh, we'll definitely be able to see that in issue three of ink so something crosses over mm. um yeah but it's actually really cool because it's the first time in any of our comics that two different characters are in a comic together from two different series so yeah oh, so, something exciting. something happens in ink three and it, yeah 
This is why you gotta wait a little while for Inc. 3, folks. This is why. Yeah. Uh, that's that's fantastic. Um, yeah, so you said Mittens was gonna be possibly in July, right? Yeah, we try to do it in July every year. Um, we're gonna try to do it in July this year. Um, it's probably gonna run into August like it did last year. I think the other, the first year too, it, it went into August. Um, and then <laughs> there was like a month break, maybe. And then Seer Chronicles three will be on Kickstarter in like October. I'm hoping. So wow. Yeah, I don't know how people can do like four Kickstarters in a year, but I'm trying to do that. <clears throat> Hey, you'd be breaking a uh, record, I would think. There has to be a record somewhere. Well, for us, uh, like Carissa Grant has done, I don't even, nine, ten, some, some crazy amount in like a year. And I'm like, oh, I don't even know how you do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't even get how she does that. And no, then there's other people that do like a bunch too. And I'm like, I don't know where you find the time to do that. Yeah, I don't know where she finds the energy, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I just, I just had on the show, you know, uh, when she was uh, doing one of the campaigns. I don't know if it was the first one or the second one or what, not, but um, she, she, she's fantastic. You know, she's very passionate about her projects. I'm very glad for that because we need to see a lot of that. But, you know, I was like, I, I tried to get back, trying to get back on the show, but I was like, I don't know what she's going to find the time. She's busy. Yeah. She, yeah. She's like always busy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is fantastic news, uh, Greg. Um, I'm still waiting to design a cat foo mitten shirt for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that can happen. Um, yeah. And we're going to have, I think, two covers for, or three covers for mittens. Three, I think. There's going to be the one that, I think Josh is doing two mm. of the covers. And one is the variant, and then one is going to be made, like another variant is made by someone else that they were supposed to make a variant cover for issue two, but they were like sick around the time and didn't have enough time to do it or something. So. Oh. But yeah, so can't wait for that. Oh, that ain't gonna lie. Yeah. No, because folks, I've been trying ever since uh, he first told me about the concept of mittens and i i wrote something on one of the um posts that to share you know the kickstarter i said cat foo and great just messaged me it says what i said yeah that could be a, that could be a thing he says you know cat foo. <laughs> and then it was kind of a running joke but it kind of caught on Yeah, so just maybe down the line, but uh, I'm very excited about the projects that are coming up. Um, at some point, we also have to go back to Chronicles of Horror, but again, that's way down the line. Oh, well, uh, when I was talking about trades for next year, that's one of them. So. Uh, by the way, that's the link, folks, to where they can find the Kickstarter scales. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Obviously, it'll be around Halloween time. Um, but yeah, uh, Chronicles of Horror Three or Nightmare at Camp Lovejoy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it it's gonna be called Nightmare at Camp Lovejoy. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna do just an issue three. It's gonna be a trade of all three because I just want to like finish the series. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, I have so many other things to do, so I, I can't just keep focusing on that. If I could focus on like horror comics, that would be cool, but I don't really have that many ideas for those right now. So. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to uh, tell horror stories, uh, especially when everything's been kind of, you know, just not original. Yeah, and I, I guess have a horror comic, but it's like Marvis. Well, it's a serial killer comic, but it's a one mm. shot. And that will be Hector's not doing that. It's part of our like universe of other stuff. Yeah. Um, but he said 
for him not to do that just because he doesn't want to like say that I'll do it and then he can't. So yeah, that's in like two years, I think. It's probably that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well you got time. You got time to find somebody. You got time. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, like I said, folks, check out the uh, Kickstarter, you know, for obviously uh, for scales. I'm very excited about that. Uh, so let me just show you guys one last time what it looks like. Sorry. Yeah. Very exciting work. Only got 20 days to go, so please, we like to see those pledges. We have 42 backers. There always be more. And please don't miss out on some of these exciting... I mean, look at these pages. Look at these. Don't miss the, this exciting story or any of these rewards. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if, like a comic book shop <clears throat> wants to back yeah. the retail tier. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> folks. Yeah, it's probably still cheaper than other people's. So. Oh, that yeah, would say so. I would say so. Yeah, the I, yeah. I've done it at thirty-five. I think on the other campaigns I've had one, and then I just mm. I upped it by like five dollars. So. Yeah. Yeah, and you really don't see train cards, uh, especially about on comics anymore. So, I'm very glad that Suno is bringing that back. Yeah, I do that on every campaign. So, uh, yeah, and it's got like a bio and something that like something interesting about the character. Yeah, uh, I remember I collected those in the '90s. You know, uh, especially when uh, DC and Marvel were doing their. Uh, very weird uh, crossover. Oh. And that was like a, an event. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So it was uh, very cool to see something like that. And then there'll be uh, another trading card in issue two. Uh, it'll most likely be Eric, but grown up. Because um, he'll be a bit older. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so. Yeah, so that scales on Kickstarter, which is on now. Yeah. And Go don't for and please pledge. Eighty four dollars away from the first stretch goal. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Uh, before we uh, go, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Uh, I've shown this to a couple of times here and there on the show. Is actually um, is actually my uh, character little Ian on tpublic.com. So let me just put this up. Yeah, that's the link below, and of course, uh, here are the designs. They're very uh, humor, humor, funny designs. You know, some of them are season themed. Some of them are just really out there. Yeah, this is what this would. I imagine this is a kid where the Jaws Blu-ray uh, DVD cover, which was reflective, was chasing me. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. There's also what this one, which is another personal favorite of mine. Um, Little Ian trying to get on a ride, and he's step, staying a st stack of books saying, What do you mean I'm still not tall enough? <clears throat> and this one I made purposely stand out was Little Ian reading books as well as comic books, including Codename Hunter. Oh. <laughs> Yes. self advertising in there. So maybe I could make one with uh, mittens or scales uh, co comics in there. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Also, yeah, it gets people interested on other projects, uh, especially on Sierra Nova Comics. Mm -hmm. Because that was, that's always the thing, folks. I'm always trying to find ways to promote them as well. Yeah. Yeah, I have to focus on that platform a little more. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you got a load of projects uh, this year alone that you had to get to. So, I guess get going. <laughs> yeah. It's a few. Yeah, just a few. Just a few. I'll see your chronicles. I just ha I'm waiting to get the inks back. So, I got to wait for that. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> just waiting. It's mostly just waiting for that. Ink is being inked. No one is dead. There's three pages already done. Uh, there's like 26 or something pages. I forgot. 28. And then um, Mittens. I don't even think he started Mittens yet. But I think it's soon. So. <laughs> well. Um, definitely have to have you guys back on here when that happens. Obviously, you gotta come back for when the other Kickstarters come up. Yeah, that'd be cool. <clears throat> okay, I um, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, Greg, thank you for coming on again. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> uh, please don't forget to go to the link below for Kickstarter on for scales pledge. Please don't miss on some of these uh, fantastic re rewards and this fantastic book told by this generation's brightest uh, indie creators. I, I am bright. <laughs> I, yes, that, I know you're bright. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> well, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, great. Thank you very much for coming on. Mm -hmm. I am Ann Miller, and this has been Mia Talk. I'm sorry. Girl Trek Comics YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Mia Talk is another show I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Girl Trek Comics YouTube channel. Have a good night, folks. Also, be sure to actually follow us on our social media accounts, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you'd like to follow us on YouTube, just hit that like button and subscribe.